Hi, I'm Ed Fulbright, CPA, CGMA, PFS, a Fulbright Financial Consulting PA. We would like to welcome you to our educational briefing. The U.S. tax code is likely to undergo its most significant revision since 1986. No matter your political point of view, you don't want to ignore what's proposed and risk making a costly financial mistake. Two congressmen, two senators, and two Trump administration officials published a framework on September 19th for a 10-year tax cut totaling $1.5 trillion. Then the Trump administration on September 27th published a nine-page outline for cutting taxes over the next decade by about $2.2 trillion. The President's proposal eliminates the federal deduction for state and local taxes. This single provision raises about a trillion dollars of revenue over the next decade and is key to paying for the tax cut. Places with relatively high state and local taxes, California, Connecticut, Massachusetts, New Jersey, and New York are expected to fight this change. Since those states have Democratic senators, this provision could pass in the Senate, assuming all Republicans vote along party lines. But its survival in the House of Representatives is less certain. This change to the tax law would effectively raise the cost of living in a high-tax state. As a result, residential real estate values in these high-tax urban and suburban areas would be likely to fall. It would lower the nest egg of millions of pre-retirees and retirees in these places. The success of this single provision will largely determine the ultimate size of the final tax cut package, and we will follow its success in the weeks ahead. Year-end tax planning is all about timing your deductible expenses and income, and that's all the more important right now because your tax rate may be much lower next year. Under the proposal, we go from the current seven tax brackets to just three. This proposal would simplify taxation and crush the tax preparation business. Most itemized deductions will be eliminated, and so will the alternative minimum tax, assuming the reform plan becomes law. This proposal is really good for business owners, doctors, lawyers, and other professionals operating as an S-corporation, sole proprietorship, LLC, or other form of partnership. If you are in the 35% or 39.6% tax bracket, your tax rate may drop to 25%. As the year-end approaches and the size and shape of tax reform becomes clearer, you want to think about ways of shifting income to 2018 and accelerating deductions. You may need to find a way to accelerate the purchase of a car, computers, or other capital investments into this year. If your tax bracket is going to drop as a result of the reforms, you may want to take that deduction you've been thinking about this year instead of waiting. It's also wise to consider deferring capital gains on securities into 2018. Roth IRA conversions will need to be carefully reviewed in the overall context of tax reform. Anyone considering a conversion to a Roth IRA from a traditional IRA will likely want to postpone conversion until next year. Converting next year would be a lot less costly if your tax bracket declines from 35% to 25%. If you inherited an IRA in 2016 or 2017, you may face some unexpected tax consequences. The income tax deduction for estate taxes may be eliminated. While this change won't affect that many people, it's worth mentioning because of the tax savings to be gained from planning. If the proposal to eliminate the federal deduction for state income taxes does indeed become law, Creating trusts in zero-tax states will be more important than ever. Although the estate tax may be eliminated, a trust in a zero-tax state could provide significant annual savings on income taxes. If you inherited assets in 2016 or 2017, choosing the official date of death for tax purposes could be important. You'll need to pay close attention to events in the weeks ahead and to be in touch. 
The elimination of the estate tax is proposed, but it would only be eliminated temporarily for 10 years. Under the proposal, estate tax laws would revert back to current rules a decade after enactment. It's only prudent to plan for the reforms to become effective January 1, 2018. This may seem defensive, but it's just good planning. As financial professionals, we are an authoritative and independent channel for news about wealth management. We'll have updates on year-end tax planning in the weeks ahead. Please subscribe to our email newsletter to see our reports on your smartphone. Thank you for listening. Please contact us with any questions, and also contact us if you're interested in our complimentary second opinion on your investments or to set up a meeting regarding your wealth. Don't hesitate to share this video with people who might benefit from our work. Thank you again, and have a great day.